what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? New photos have been discovered of Gregory McMichael at a Klan rally. Greg is one of three white men who were involved in the murder of black jogger Ahmaud Arbery on February 23rd, right outside of Bronxwick, Georgia. Any surprise? Now, this photo is from, allegedly from, a 2016 Klan rally, April 23rd, 2016. So you see him marching with other, about a group of 80 neo-Nazis. And they're carrying uh, flags. And these flags have uh, neo-Nazi signs, swastika signs. And they are also carrying signs that display KKK. This is not a surprise at all, family, because this is the M.O. of that type. This is not a surprise at all. Everybody kind of knew that's what it was because they are the only type of white men who have that type of mentality to do something like that, to go and accost, accost a person, a black person, and demand that he stop and talk to them while they're on the back of a pickup and the other is jumping out of a pickup truck with a damn shotgun. Like, you know they try to use the fear for my life thing, right? They love using that. We could say the same thing about Ahmad. Wouldn't that be reasonable for anyone to fear for their life in that type of situation? But especially a black man, given the history of this country. See, you don't get to be angry about the history of the country when you perpetuate the worst part of the history of the country. You dig what I'm saying? It's like, they want to actually run around here like thugs and hoodlums, criminals, terrorists. But they hate it when you talk about it, you bring it up. It's the weirdest thing. Like, if you don't want to be criticized for something that you're doing, your behavior, perhaps you should not participate in a certain type of behavior. Just like if you didn't want to have, be recognized and praised, you know, for good behavior. Perhaps do something bad and you won't. So these clowns, they want to run around and be savages. But then when they get caught up, they want to be treated with respect. They've already started trying to push the narrative that they were protecting the neighborhood. They're protecting the community. Somebody should have been protecting the community from them because they are the bad apples in the community. They are the eyesore. They are the, that goes the neighborhood. Not a surprise at all. And I can guarantee you that most people who live on his street is the same way because they really don't lay their head where they, they don't feel welcome. So somebody made them feel welcome enough. I said it the other day. Somebody made them feel welcome enough that they could go hunt that dude, kill him, and be accepted in their community. Like actually be embraced, even praised. I can guarantee you they got people in that community going over to the house with cakes and 
fried chicken and watermelon. Guarantee you. They already got deplorables trying to raise money for them. You know he was broke, right? He filed for bankruptcy. So he didn't have any money. Motive. Because you know a lot of them, they'll go out and commit a crime. They'll do something to somebody black. They'll do something specifically egregious. And they know it's going to be a polarizing race issue, right, in America. So the racist who like that type of behavior and want to encourage that type of behavior or at least want to protect it, protect being punished from it, they run out there and support them. You know why? Because they want to make sure they get supported too when they do it. And what does that do? That gives the other ones incentive to jump out there and do something. And I really hesitate to call them people because people is showing them too much respect. They're animals. This father and son is a roach and a cockroach. They are the infestation in America known as racism. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?